All right, today we're going to stretch this canvas. So this is a raw canvas, as you can see here. And I got this nice board. Um, so this is all wood frame that I built myself. And I'm going to stretch this, uh, get it really tight. You have to go around the edges. And what I'm using is one of these little puppies. These are great for stretching. Um, you can use those over and over again. After that, I'm going to adjust the whole thing twice and then we'll start painting. So that's how it goes. All right, so the question of the day is, who is Piet Mondrian? All right, so we got this wrapped pretty well. Now we're gonna add gesso. I'll probably tilt this back. It's just way too <laughs> straight up and down. It's almost falling off, so. So we just finished gessoing this. Um, gonna let this dry, do another layer, and then we'll start the painting. All right, today we're gonna work on this new painting. I have been gessoed, it's been twice gessoed, so it's been nice and smooth. The gesso pulls it even tighter, so you get, it's really tight. There's no looseness now, so it's really nice to paint on. We're gonna do art, architecture abstraction. So let's see how it goes, guys. So we got our nice turquoise, it's dry now. I'm gonna add some white streaks to kind of contrast this. And then when I layer that on, it'll kind of make those pop color-wise between the layers. So we'll see how it goes. All right, now we laid in the original blue, the white. This is a little bit of blue coming in, so it's kind of a lighter layer. Here it's pretty stark, but there's a little blue in there. A little bit of white splashes. Now we're gonna introduce a darker blue down at the bottom and kind of build this up so we got the really high contrast.
right, we put in this black uh, dark layer. What I think I'm going to do now is add some kind of white layers to kind of chop up the space more, and this will add more variety once we add more and more layers. All right, we added some white lines here, here and above. I um, can't really see in the <laughs> video, it's getting cut off. But I'm gonna add some darker blue in here to kind of, you know, make this kind of collapse inwards. some lighter colors up here to kind of uh, balance it off it's kind of a yellow green so it's getting to the lighter side and then later we'll add in black but first we're going to yellow green All right, we've added kind of some white in here. I'm gonna add some really dark kind of purple here and kind of add some real power to this. So to have a touch of red in it just to kind of make the yellow pop, the blue pop, but still overall fairly blue. All right, next I'm gonna add a little bit, a little bit more white lines. So I'm gonna add the next layer, which is gonna be a light blue. It'll have kind of that um, complexity to it. Although it's very complex at this point. Um, I'm pretty satisfied as is, but I'm gonna keep going to see where it goes. So Piet Mondrian is a very famous painter of the 20th century and invented one of the forms of abstract art, which is he's called neoplasticism. And what he did is he boiled down art to just red, yellow, blue, white, and black line. All in a, just straight lines, squares. So a very interesting distillation of art from what before had been a lot of symbolism and a lot of meaningful art, and a lot of people thought there was no meaning at all in um, Piet Mondrian's work. And you can see in my work as well, in my architectural abstraction, it's very, you know, cubist, but I use a lot more layering, a lot more um, color. So, um, yeah, I think it's a little more complex than what Piet Mondrian was doing. I mean, what he did was really cool, but I think mine's better. <laughs> anyway, that's my question of the day. <laughs> Hope to see you guys on next time. I think we just finished the painting. I decided, you know, really didn't need the light blue layer. I mean, I could keep going, um, but the more complex you add, the more kind of gets screwed up. And I really like some of the bold colors in here. So let's take a closer look at the finished product. Can't really zoom in here because it's so huge. <laughs> anyway. Um, I like this like turquoise level, has this white um, area to blues, has dark blues in the bottom and greens. Um, overall I think it's a pretty cool painting. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, I was going to add the light blue, but I just don't see it as necessary. I mean, it might work. Um, but yeah, it's just it has enough complexity as is, and sometimes it's nice to have kind of some bland, not bland, but um, neutral areas, like these blue is neutral, the turquoise area is kind of neutral. So you want kind of, you know, some detail in your work, but you also want some kind of solid kind of calmer areas. I mean, they're not really calm because they have wild brushstroke, right? But <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's just good enough. So I'm going to leave it as is. Um, hope you guys like it. Give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next painting video. Thanks for watching, guys.